What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a deep dive into the concerns drivers have about the future possibility of self-driving trucks. Some drivers think they're an immediate threat to their career, some think that they're a threat to the people sharing the road with them, and some have a lack of concern altogether with little or no confidence in the idea that autonomous trucks will be commonplace anytime soon. Over the course of this video we're going to respond to some of the most frequently asked questions about self-driving trucks, but before we do, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button in order to keep up with everything trucking. And Let's get into it. Guys, I just wanted to take a quick minute to thank all of you for your messages, your comments, and your emails. I wanted to help some of you out by answering a question that I get asked all the time about high paying trucking jobs. If you are searching for a high paying trucking job, look no further than to our friends over at Vista Trans. They are currently recruiting drivers and their pay rates are insane. 85 cents for flatbeds, 75 cents for reefers, and 65 cents for their drive van division. Vista Trans currently runs over 350 power units and you can work out of one of their four terminals in Illinois, New Jersey, Florida, and in Texas. All you have to do is fill out this form below and this form will directly go to their HR manager. I don't know how much longer those rates are gonna last, but fill out that form below and now back to that video. Recently, we held a poll asking drivers how they think self-driving trucks will affect their job. We got over 3,000 responses and there was a pretty big consensus with most drivers feeling the same. 8% said that they think they won't have any problems. Another 8% said that they think their pay will decrease. 18% said that their job will not be affected by self-driving trucks and an overwhelming majority of 65% said that they don't think driverless trucks will happen at all anytime soon. Now, I tend to agree with the idea that the integration of nationwide self-driving trucks is still a ways off. One driver echoed that sentiment with this comment. Electric trucks will be mainstream in the next few years, but their viability will rely on charge times and charge station availability. A 500 mile range is nice, but if you have to stop for two hours to charge, is it really worth it? And I think this is the largest roadblock both self-driving and electric trucks face. Outside of major cities, there's shockingly little amount of infrastructure to support this transition. It feels to me that the policymakers, like we've seen in Canada and states like California, who are pushing to bail the sale of gasoline cars within the next decade, are quite literally putting the cart before the horse, meaning typically major societal changes come by way of offering people convenience and efficiency. Every time governments have forced people into a transition that isn't convenient or efficient, it always ends in policy disaster. As of right now, the only thing I see electric vehicles offering people is status, and an extremely small amount of people are able to spend money on things, whether it be a watch or a semi-truck, in order to boost their status. Another viewer brought up many good questions in regards to autonomous trucks, asking, what do you think about theft of truck cargo, bad weather like heavy snow and black ice, tire bursts, exit on the highway, and who is responsible if the autonomous truck kills a human? I remember a truck driver was sentenced to 110 years in jail for a fatal accident in Colorado. So let's go through each one of these one by one. First being theft of truck cargo, which happens roughly 1500 times a year. And first, I don't see this being a major issue that would stand in the way of autonomous trucks. That is a very small amount of thefts per year considering how many cargo loads are successfully delivered in contrast. And in regards to the truck themselves, I would imagine that they have some sort of mechanism which doesn't allow the truck to be in motion outside of its programmed route. Much like how some golf carts have GPS systems which don't allow them to be driven on certain areas of the course or off the course altogether. As for cargo on the other hand, I think this will just come down to an insurance situation. Will a company's premiums go up? Yeah, probably. But I doubt nearly enough to offset the increased productivity that a self-driving truck would allow considering it would be operating around the clock. The next question was about bad weather, like heavy snow and black ice, and I do think this is a bigger issue for self-driving trucks, as the sensors and cameras are currently unable to operate once their vision gets blocked, and human intuitiveness is something that took millions upon millions of years of evolution to create, and I just don't think this technology will be as instantly adaptable as humans are. After that, the question of tire bursts and other mechanical failures comes up often. I do think this will be a roadblock in the implementation of autonomous trucks. 
Companies will likely have to have service teams that are dispatchable anytime a truck breaks down, but I think this will be extremely inefficient considering the amount of time it would take just to get to a truck that could be a long way into its route already. Another possibility is that companies like AAA and CAA will start offering services for these autonomous trucks, but again, that's quite the undertaking and I'm sure there are also potential legal issues that could arise when you take into account no owner of the property would be on site when AAA shows up. Speaking of legal issues, the question of accident liability frequently comes up in conversations around autonomous vehicles as well, and I think this is why trucks without drivers won't be a thing we see anytime soon. At the end of the day, responsibility falls on the driver, and I don't think trucking companies nor the truck manufacturers want to be held responsible for the inevitable accidents that will happen, both for PR and financial reasons. That being said, I do believe accidents are less likely when it comes to self-driving vehicles, as computers not only have better reaction time than humans, but they also don't fatigue nearly as quickly as we do. So I think overall these trucks and cars will improve safety on the road, but that there will also be a driver needed to place the blame on if they ever malfunction. Another viewer had some things to say in regards to the precautions that should take place for these vehicles, saying quote, robot trucks should have a driver and the robot part be used in dedicated robot vehicle only lanes, placed in specific sections of highways in order to help reduce driver fatigue, used as a form of autopilot for portions of the trips. Airlines are 99% automated, yet they still have two pilots at all times. Robots can be used to assist drivers, even taking over much of the work. Robot trucks would haul trailers between hubs, and human drivers would haul them local to and from their destinations. I do believe that if we see a society-wide embrace of fully driverless trucks anytime in the future, the way that they would be integrated is as hub-to-hub -hub trucking. Trucks would deliver cargo from point A to point B, but never really going off the highway. I envision lots directly off the highway where human drivers would then step in and take the freight to its local destination. While I do think this would cut into the amount of work that is available for human drivers, I also think it would allow many drivers to find a better work-life balance, doing multiple local runs a day rather than one long haul route which takes them far away from home. A driver named Ron had some pushback on how we cover the potential future of self-driving trucks, saying, I see you walking gradually down the road of autonomous vehicles. Soon you'll be saying the most efficient way is without the driver. Another driver echoed that sentiment by saying, I like your channel, it's very informative, but I can see you will be the type of carrier to put drivers out of work. You will buy autonomous trucks. To which I'd respond by saying, technology has always been more efficient than humans. Email is faster and cheaper than paper mail. Calculators will always outperform humans when it comes to the speed of solving math equations. And a factory line of robots will always work harder, faster, and quicker than human counterparts. So it's not really a question of whether we think it's more efficient without the driver as much as it is a fact that it would be, keyword would, to replace the driver with a computer. However, that doesn't mean it's practical or realistic to do so. Again, I don't think the technology is anywhere where it needs to be in order to imagine a world without humans behind the wheel in some capacity. As for the comment about whether certain carriers would be responsible for putting drivers out of work, I don't think that's the best way to look at this scenario. It would be like saying a business is responsible for putting receptionists out of work for installing an answering machine. If a business fails to keep up with technological innovation, then both it and its employees will go under. That doesn't mean it's not unfortunate that, that technological advancements can threaten people's livelihoods, but that I don't think the ethical burden of unemployment across an industry falls on anyone who implements technology. If that's the case, then all of us would be on the moral hook for any post office workers who are unemployed because we'd like to use email. But again, I really don't see the technology getting into a place anytime soon where there would be massive instances of unemployment and think that there are many things that will stress the livelihoods of truckers before automated vehicles do. But don't let me think for you. We'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. What are some of the biggest hurdles stopping the automated trucking market from completely taking over? Or if you do think truck drivers are on their way to career extinction, please let us know why. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.